I already watched my dead files and I usually don't have like a system of what I'm doing I just kind of wing it so ephemera is my favorite and to a lot of people it just looks like trash <laughs> some ephemera. Went to a local auction here in town and I bought an ephemera lot. Now ephemera is my absolute favorite thing to buy. I love buying ephemera. I'm going to show you what I got in this box. As you can see they kind of marked it a little bit but I didn't really know what I was buying. I seen a couple things from the picture. This is all surprise. I have not peeked. I am going to show you what I have. I've got my hat on so I'm nice and warm. I've got the heater going and it is Saturday night. I already watched my dead files so now I'm ready to open some boxes. So I think what I'll do is I'll either put some comps up as I'm going along or I might just throw them at the end. I'm not quite sure yet. So I'll just kind of go with the flow and I usually don't have like a system of what I'm doing. I just kind of wing it. So. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. So I'm just gonna show you what I pull out of here. This is just my shipping counter. I know it does not look good. And I ruined it, I know, I know I did. Now, okay, so I'm, I'm already doing something really bad that you don't wanna do, and I do not have gloves on. You don't want the oils of your hands, even though they're natural oils, to get on any of this paper stuff because it's not good. So here's a baby bib. This looks pretty newer. So I'm gonna sell that and anything Disney sells really well. So that's cool. Old or new, I don't care. Disney is always good. Okay, so here we have H the Cheerful Cherub. The human race is all at war and Thinks of fighting night and day. I surely feel embarrassed now to have God see us act this way. Well, wow. Considering what's going on right now. So this is just an envelope. Um, it's got some stamps on it. So I will sell this as just the envelope. I think that says Albion, Michigan. But I'll look up the zip code to make sure. Um, some of these stamps will sell very well. And these are collectible stamps. Um, I know sometimes... The Thomas Jefferson one cent stamp does sell really well. Let's see here. And it also has some names in here. So I'll definitely put the names in the listing. And I might not put all the names and the address and stuff like that, but that's definitely a sell that's in the items. So I'm going to actually make a little tote which I have sitting here just like I do with jewelry and I'm just going to move it over because I want to list all this stuff. So I paid $33 for this box. This is 1944 Grand Rapids Press Carrier. Oh I remember these these calendars that used to come. Yeah they're just they've got some neat little pictures in there and really somebody could. This is cool. Oh that's really cute. Look at the little puppers. Do a long day of hunting. So somebody could um, take these photos and, um, you know, map them and use them as pictures. I'll sell that. What does this um, lot say? So the owner put 1920 Magic Magazine, paper dolls, calendars, and ephemera. So that's what I knew about it. Okay, so this is Pirates. 1983 Major Leagues right here. Oh, it's a yearbook. That's kind of cool. Let's 
so that's got some neat pictures in it. So here we have a greeting. It's from your Grand Arbor's Press again, 1948. Look at those styles. Some cute little deer. I love like the Kodachrome kind of photographs from back in the day. Um, they, they have like a really cool color to them. And actually this has been preserved really well, as you can see in this one. We have next here, the Sphinx 1920. So this is an antique because it's over 100 years old. Kansas City, Montana, as you can see here. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, I don't know if I dare open this. What is that? <laughs> what does that say? Pleated paper and thumb. Okay, big thumb. So it does have some condition issues, but that's okay. I mean, it's just very old. 1920. I wonder if there's anything interesting in here. Ooh. Thanks, magicians. That's cool. Magicians at last. Dr. Q. see Herman Weber also it also has these ads so you can also if you had something like this you could put like the names in your description and the town um, Los Angeles California yeah there's some cool stuff in here Back in the day around here, this would have not been very popular, I assume, because anything magician-like would not have been really, like, really accepted well. Yeah, I can tell this came from somewhere else. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that neat? Very cool. <gasps> Ooh. I used to have these kind of books when I was growing up. Um, the Rescuers. Okay, they're in really bad shape. I had this one. <gasps> I might have to keep it. Oh, I wish I still had my books. So, this looks like this was made in 52. Um, the pages are pretty good. The outside's really bad. Um... Yeah, some of these are kind of old. They definitely smell old. When I cleaned out my mom's house, though, there really wasn't anything to keep anymore. So, unfortunately. So, it's kind of fun when I find stuff from... Oh, I had this one, too. From when I was little. Ooh. Oh, and there's somebody's name in it. And she wrote in there a lot. <laughs> 1977. That's cool. That was the year I was born. So we are probably about the same age, which is kind of funny. So there's a lot of writing in these. So I don't think anything's really worth a lot of money other than the nostalgia part. I don't know my number, my number, my letter numbers, numeric numbers. What do you call those? So I always have to look those up, but this one does look pretty old. So this will be fun to um, look at but you know this would be cool if you even wanted to snip some of the pages out and um, just use them I don't even know if all the pages are in here if you just wanted to use them for art too that's pretty cool the illustrations are real you know they're they're older and they're definitely neat so that's that's interesting there's a couple books Dr. Pierce's Invalids Hotel and Surgical Institute. Okay, Buffalo, New York. Okay. Neighborhood Gossip Dream Book. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What is that?
this? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. How old is this? It's definitely old smelling. It's it looks old. Dr. Pierce's pleasant pellets. Oh. Um, dreams. Favorite prescription. So this is definitely like a really cool ephemera for New York or Buffalo, New York, um, or pharmacy. Yeah, so that's kind of neat. It's definitely old. I'm not sure how old this is. Stuff on if you use your Google lens too, that might show you. Okay, so we have Kruger Park. Okay. This is just like probably something you buy as a souvenir at the um and some of them are sticking together. Okay, so I'm gonna sell this together. Um just like that. Phil, sell all of the, what is that word? Excellent, maybe? Elephants? Daddy? John F. Kennedy, President, United States, Margaret died. Okay, so this is probably like a morning card. Oh, that's cool. I bet this is worth quite a bit. This looks like a morning card to me. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I remember these. I remember how these taste. Does anybody remember these like I do? We used to get them and put them, I don't know, maybe in sticker books or something, and I just remember the taste. I'm tempted to lick it. <laughs> no, don't lick it. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. So this is cool. So these are conservation stamps. Um, definitely old. Yeah, this is neat. This is definitely like a, and it's well preserved as far as the colors go. Um, this one's very war. Farmers of Central West. Let's see. Does it say Conklin? 1947 oil. Hmm. So, I'm assuming this is kind of like a farmer's almanac, maybe? Okay. Farmers farming around the world. And this is in bad shape, so I definitely have to just disclose that. But most of the stuff that you find that's ephemera, just papers, are not going to be in good condition. So, okay, so this is neat. This is a print. That's cool. It reminds me of myself because I'm always feeding animals, even though I'm not supposed to. I'm just feeding the birds. <laughs> Everybody knows me. The joke is I always make friends with all the wildlife. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't help it. This is cute. The colors are really good. Some pencil on there, but that's actually pretty good for the age. So this stuff was not in the sunlight, so that's good. 1940. Good Health Guide Almanac Cookbook. Raleigh's. Um, Freeport, Illinois. Okay. So this is neat. There's like some, um, okay, so, ew, what does that mean? Sausage rare bit. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Aches and pains. Hmm. Country special. So there's um, recipes in here. Oh, I would like some pie. Yes, please. I want some pie. I thought about getting a pie. My husband took me out to like a country restaurant today. Oh my goodness. It was the best. It was the best. And I had to drive for another auction today into the country. 
so we always enjoy the town when we have to go there and he took me to a little country restaurant we had such a good time we had a good time today it was really nice Riley's is definitely the promoter of this. Uh, let's see. Butterscotch whipped cream pie. Coconut pineapple deep dish berry pie. Angel food pie. Now, my family talks a lot about making like angel food cake. This might be... I might have to try some of these before I sell it. That'd be fun to try some of these. Yeah, this is neat. Candies and nut balls. Peanut brittle lollipops. Lollipops, they made them from scratch? I guess they probably did. But my family, um, I think they had 12 or 13. Well, I think they had 13 kids. Um, some of them died. Um, two babies died. So they had a huge family. And they would make a really big angel food cake. Like, she said it was, like, as big as the oven. And they used to be bigger back then. They would make, like, really big foods because they had big families. And every night they would have this nice cake before they went to bed for dessert. Oh, gosh, that's really nice. Dress up the vegetables. Macaroni stuffed peppers. Oh, ooh. A carrot ring. Oh, this makes me want to vomit. Broccoli hollandaise sauce. Okay, now that sounds good. Um, lemon juice, pepper. When colds come. I have definitely had some sinus issues this week because I was cleaning out the closets. Hot nut coffee cake. Gosh, these sound wonderful. Wartime maintenance manual. Okay, so Ohio Division. Oh, this is neat. So, this is kind of cool. What else do we have? 1920, 1922, 1923. So, these are all antiques except for the 23. So, these are over 100 years old. Oh, I love this. Did they write down anything good in here? Bill and was that Omar Nicholson five dollars okay so let's see what is this okay so this is just money maybe they're keeping track of huh man I wish my bills were only a dollar twenty five opera piano five dollars oh maybe they're lessons I don't know what eggs butter and cream I'm just so excited to find something like this. I love ephemera. I love... Okay, so I did recently pay up, and there's going to be another ephemera um, video coming soon because I bought a whole box of letters. I don't know what's in the letters. <laughs> and I don't know. They might just be bills, but I thought, well, I'm going to see. It looks like uh, Gus Wilkinson, Percy Cows. Holtz, Frank Holtz Mill. So here they're probably just keeping track of how much money is going out, I assume. Crows drove in from afternoon and went around the barn and loaded. Begin work at elevator. That was not a good day for those cows. Okay, so this, I would say, is probably like 50s. That looks 50s to me. So I've got some paper dolls, Ken. And sh there's clothes. Oh, I probably should watch what I'm doing here because I don't want to get in trouble for not having um, dressed clothes on things. So um, I might have to cut some of this out. But there's some really cool dolls, probably 50s. Yeah, how fun is that? Here is like a felt doll. Yeah, this is cool. And then here's like a little fire hydrant. So like the felt ones I probably put together and maybe I'll just kind of sort these and put them together. I'm not sure. Oh, and yeah, they've got little shawls and they've got little jammies. Oh, cute. That is really cute. 1921. Best 1921 wishes. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And it's... Like hard cardboard. 
It looks like a picture of something. I can't tell. Even though I have glasses on, my eyesight is still not that great. Okay. So I might have to zoom in on that because I can't see that with my eyes right now. But this, look at that photo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's real old. Okay, Mrs. Lulu Smith, Battle Creek, Michigan. This is a two-stamp stamp of 1930. Um, St. Petersburg, Florida. I wish I was there. Oh my goodness, I wish I was there. My husband and I recently went to Florida. Oh, so nice. Oh, this is funny. So I had two sewing machines. I now have one. Um, so it's very similar to this one. So there's like a lot of tool type things. I'll probably just lot them up together. Okay, Lulu Smith again of Michigan, 1950 this time. Coming from Detroit, Michigan. Four cents. Now why did they keep the letters in there? I want to see the letters. Okay, so maybe there are some letters that go in there. If there are, I'm definitely going to keep them together. The Hill School Blue Book, 1928. So if I find stuff like this in there, then I'm going to keep them together because that's in pretty good condition. School rules. Okay, and regulations. Oh, how fun. So there might be some names in here. If you see last names when you're listing stuff like this, I would put as many as you can because I did have somebody recently buy like one of my ephemera books that I found in one of these kind of lots and they paid around somewhere around $80 because it was part of like their genealogy like it had some of their family members in it this is gorgeous the finest four new Spencers for 1914 this is nice I may have to keep this one for myself <gasps> I love this <laughs> I wonder if I can make a copy so I can have two of them. I am going to do an art wall um, in the spare bedroom. We have been cleaning it out and everything's done and we got rid of everything that we didn't want. One of the walls I'm going to make an art wall with, I have a ton of antique prints, just a ton of them. So I'm going to put this aside. J.H. What does that say? Kalamazoo, Michigan from J.C. Wilson. That's cool. Look at this. I would love to find stuff like this in my family. Um, and just to let you know, when you are looking for like ephemera, definitely pick up stuff like this where you can find any kind of like letterheads like this. They sell really, really well, especially if they're like railroads, military, stuff like that. Okay, so here is sash and doors and moldings, shingles, lumber. North and Coon, 1898, everybody. Look at how old this is. This is an antique, 1898. That is so old. 125 years oldish. Yeah, that's how old these are, too. Oh, I love these. I'm so glad that I kept bidding. C.L. Cobb, John Wilson. Oh, $81 and $35. That's a lot of money back then. Wow. I have to ask some of my um, Facebook friends if they if some of these are relatives. And, and if they were, I would definitely give them like a good price, but I'm still going to sell them because this is my job and this is what I do. And I just always figure, you know, unless it's like a family member, family member stuff, I never sell family member things ever. I don't. I hand them down. Okay. Northwestern Mutual, 1901. This is an antique. Same people. Oh, wow. This is so cool. So they probably built, I'm assuming they built a house. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Wow. I do know some Wilson, so I'll have to ask her. Very cool. Sandpaper. One item that's 25 cents. Pitch mold, $2.71. Oh, 
So I'm assuming somebody was building a house or a barn. How awesome. Local auctions. And if you want to find auctions like this near you, just look up um, auctions near me or auction houses near me. And you can find stuff like this too. Um, I would say, like, I don't spend a lot for my things, but I do probably spend the most on ephemera. Just trash paper, basically. Because <laughs> it interests me the most. I just find it extremely interesting. J.H. Brown, I think that says. Ford. 1943. So, 1940 Ford. J.H. Brown. So, here's Harold... Brown of 43, it's probably the same car, truck, his car worked on, and here, this is for gas, dollar five, wow, can you imagine, oh, can you imagine filling up your car for dollar five, here he got a lubrication and gasoline, two dollars and fifty seven cents, wow, children's die dust, so here we have, um, and they put it in a nice bag. That's nice. See, you know, I'm really being bad at not wearing gloves, but I'm, I'm going to try not to touch it with my fingertips too much. 1953. So, wow, look at this. Ooh, there's comics in there. Well, this is really neat for kids. I would have loved getting something like this as a child. It definitely smells old. Definitely has that real old smell. I mean, not offensive or anything. It's just, you know, that's how things smell when they're that old on their books. It smells like a bookstore. Old one. <laughs> Look at the, even just like the cartoons. How cool. Rid of Bogues. I think that's how you pronounce it. Vreda Vogue? Yeah. Furniture store of Granville, Michigan. What year is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. What is this? I'm assuming it turns. Don't you turn? What the world? Okay, everybody. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is? I have no idea what this is. What is this? Okay, if anybody knows what this is, please let me know, because I'm not sure what this would be. The wish of my heart. What is this? I love everything in here so much. Okay. Buffalo, New York, the Hayes Lithographing Company. Okay, so this is probably going to be worth something, because these are lithographs. Copyright 1910. I want to be really careful of this because this is like almost like it was never opened. Well, this is awesome. I mean, this is in such good shape. 100 years old. Size large. Chewing tobacco. Okay, these things are definitely worth some money. If you see any kind of tobacco things... Detroit, Michigan. So, um, another thing, when you get something like this, make sure that you put, you know, any kind of last name in there. That will help you sell it. Does it smell like tobacco? No, it smells like great grandma's attic. <laughs> okay, so that, is that just like a, a bag to put tobacco in? 1918, free sample? Of tobacco. That'd be cool. That's a lot of tobacco. Look at it, it's a free sample. Powers Review and News. Look how old this is. Okay, let's see if I can read that. Himes Coles Company of Michigan. Powers Theater. Okay, so now we've got Cover Your Radiators. Okay. Shoe repairs. The Creamery Smith Auto Repair. Shoe repair. Oh, coming soon. Okay. A love story of the tropics. It must have been a movie. And here's the cast. Um, so you could definitely put the names in here for the cast. 
And yeah, how cool is that? I mean, it might take forever. You might not want to do it. It could take forever. It really could. Um, I know there is some scanning software out there. I do not have that. Just to pick up words and stuff. Um, but yeah. I think my husband has that. Or I don't know. Definitely not going to bother with that. Look at how old that is. Wow. Oh, when we moved into our first home, it had one of these washers. I wish I would have sold it or did something with it, but I never, I never just, you know, I guess I had kids back then and I didn't really mess with anything. New York souvenir album. This one's dirty. This one's dirtier. Um, definitely neat. Oh, it's like a souvenir little um, booklet, I think. Wow, look at that. Broadway, New York. Look at how old that is. Wow, this is amazing. I'm so excited that I bought this. I'm so excited somebody sold it. <gasps> yes. Little Jack Horner. Okay, I don't think I can sell that on eBay. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not sure. So, I don't think they're allowed on eBay. Here's some die cuts. These are neat. I love die cuts too. Um, and they put them in a little photo album to keep them safe. That was very nice. Thank you. The new cookbook, Pillsbury, winning recipes. Oh, Minnesota. Grand prize winners. Look at how excited they are. 1952. Cornmeal fantans. I've never even heard of this stuff in here. Apple roll-ups. Now that is something I would probably really like. <laughs> Pecan loaves. I used to make stuff like that for the kids a lot. That was fun when they were little. We used to bake every day. For sure we made jello every day. Okay, let's see. New York Insurance Company Metropolitan Cookbook. 1948. Oh, look at these recipes in here. Let's see. This is in good condition, though. Gingerbread. Popovers. Cool. This is um, just a box cutting. Inner sealed waxed. Okay, so oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So these are just box cuttings. Laxative foods. Inner sealed wax. We got lots of those. Why would somebody cut that off? Shredded whole wheat. 1965 Oldsmobile. This is in very bad condition. Yeah, that's, that's in pretty bad condition, but how cool. Somebody might want that if they have like an old car, but this is in pretty bad shape. So here we have some, here's, it's like a checkbook, I guess. There's some more checks. Um, I'll have to see. I don't know if I, I might pull the rest of them out or just sell one of them in here of Oklahoma. Pierce's Memorandum and Account Book. Farmers and Mechanics. All people. This is definitely old. Okay, so this is 1984 to 1985. Look at that. What do we got here? Joyful Days Make Up a Golden Year. That's cute. Look at that. Okay, it might say with very good wish for this coming year. Something Pole, 1925. Look how cool this is. Oh, okay. This is just like a little tiny calendar. Wow, that's cool. 
And I only seen a little bit of this stuff, so I have not seen even near the amount of stuff that I'm I've gotten here. Um so thankful. This is awesome. These are just little papers. So trading papers. They're not really cards. These are definitely papers. I'm not sure what these are. Definitely Dutch. No, oh, that's Dutch. This is a Dutch area, so that makes sense. Okay, what else we got? Um, happy birthday. Okay. Postcard. 1891. Please sell that. Um, and I sell postcards pretty regularly. I don't have a lot of them for sale. I have a lot to list, though. St. Louis Arch. Look at all the old cars. <laughs> Are these all St. Louis? I can't tell. Springfield, Illinois. Lincoln's House. Okay, these are just photographs. That's cool. I've actually never been there. Wisteria. Antebellum home? I, I don't know what that is. So that's from like a little vacation. That's cool. I might just put those together. To my Valentine. Okay, so this is a die cut. Be very, very careful with this because these die cuts are worth a lot of money. And I definitely don't. So this one's made in Germany, so it's worth even more. It was a dollar fifty back in the day. Wow. Okay, so it is broken. Shoot. Okay, let's see here. Carefully. So this was cool though. It's like 3D. Um maybe it comes out. Oh wow. Oh look at that. So it comes out. Oh wow. And yeah, it's these birds' heads are gonna fall off. So it's actually like a 3D card. I've never seen one that old like that. Oh, wow, that is so amazing. I mean, obviously it's in bad shape. Um, carefully put it back down. And I am going to put this one over on my countertop where I move my tape. So I'll be very careful with that. Okay, too bad that's in bad shape like that. So this might have been the Sphinx, Carl Myers, it looks like. Now, there was something Sphinx in here, but, I mean, that could have came with it, too. Hunt Brothers, a Michigan, Hastings, Michigan. This is cool. It's like a little account book, I guess. Another check. Onward to Lutheran. Convention notes, March of... Your convention companion. Okay, so that's just another one. There's like a whole stack of these things. George School. Scholl? Scholl. From Indiana. 1949. Hamilton, Ohio. So I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, that's a cool little sticker. Nineteen fifty-two. Too bad there's not stuff in here. Hmm. So these are from roll-offs of Indiana to the Shoals in Ohio. Um, this one's in bad condition. Central Lake. Hmm. Shoot, it's stuck together. I can try to steam that off. Detroit, Michigan from summer 50s. Oh, it's in bad condition. Yeah, the one cent stamp is pretty cool though. Okay, I'm gonna try to go quicker because I didn't think there was this much awesome stuff in here. Okay, um, Smith Sons Mill near Lincoln Avenue Bridge. Thompson Smith. 
Hmm. Swift and Kirk, Lakeside Mill. So I'm going to have to look these up. I can probably figure that out. I might I'll have to do some digging, though. Wisteria. Okay, some more of those. Um, sweet and low. Shirt. Recipe book. Okay, so fraternal life insurance. Okay, I just sold something like this recently. I wish I would have brought my water down here. My throat is getting dry. To Quantum Falls. Oh, I hated that vacation. <laughs> Not keeping that one. <laughs> okay, so now we have the Quadruplets. Ontario, Canada. Well, that's awesome. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, those babies are cute. Mrs. Henderson, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Goodwin Street. I know where that one is. That's adorable, though. Okay, so Canadian Rockies. I've always wanted to go here. Um... To Helen, Michigan, 1975. Ida Lumen. Okay. Chicago. Um, this looks like some kind of label. These food stamps? I'll have to look these up. Well, there is a lot of them. Look at this. Can you imagine if I could sell that one by one? Okay, this is like an old negative. I can definitely, um, I do have a reader for that. Labels, um, 1891. Charles W. Clark, which I think is Charles, um, of Ohio. Peter. So here's somebody in the hospital in California writing to someone in Detroit, Michigan. Bunsen. Oh, and is there a letter in there? <gasps> oh, I can't wait. There's a letter in there. Wow. Okay, so I'm definitely putting that one for sale. There's a letter. Well, now I'm wondering what it is. I can't even take it, you guys. This thing is going to be so long. Dear Albert, received your letter dated. Surprise and happy. I don't want to get this dirty either. My hands are probably getting dirty. Received by your friend Peter. P.S. Any size film will do. Here's a picture of me and another one. Very Merry Christmas. Okay, so he's writing to his friend. I think he's in the hospital in California. Okay, cool. Private Peter, I cannot pronounce something. So, this would be cool to look up this person. I might, um, I'm a volunteer on Find a Grave, so... If I can find out where he is, this is 18, does it, oh, does it say 18 or 1944? I'm assuming 1944. Rights and responsibilities. Okay, what else we got here? Disability reports. Okay. Um, a photograph. I'm going to put all those photographs together. Here's a calling card from Estella Clark. That's very old. Senior class of Wilshire High School. Oh, goodness, look how precious. Oh, school auditorium, and there's a photo in here. Look at that. There's no. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, I wonder if I can figure out who this is. Commencement school activities. Shoot. Here's the class roll. They have a photo in here. So, 1935. I would say that looks about right for the timeline. So I'll just put each name in there and see if I can figure out who these people are. Okay, so this could be Della Gauss. Goose. Oh, 
I'm not good at names. Okay, so maybe I'm going to put these together. Maybe this is her. Yeah. Okay, so that must be Della. There's quite a few of those. Well, that's cool. I might make copies and um, put that together. Commencement. Oh, Lion Coffee. This is on cardstock. It's in. I'm gonna carefully put this one up here too. Okay. I am an hour in, so I definitely need to hurry it up a little bit. Here's like a cardstock postcard. Van Wert County Public Schools. Okay, so that's that girl again. And oh. Okay. I might lot those people, like the stuff from the certain people all together. I'm not sure. I have some other stuff too that is not selling, but um, I might just lot it all up. 1864. Oh my word. That might be D. Good. Nah. Wow, look at the writing on that. That's a lot of money for back then. Wow, isn't that amazing? Okay, so here we've got some public school stuff. William, is it Gauss? Geese? I guess it depends. It, lo it looks Dutch to me. And there's some more. Boy, we have a lot of her stuff in here. Okay. Um, boy, I can't wait to list this stuff. I'm going to be so excited, everybody. State House. Okay, so this is like. Okay, now what is this again? Is this a, oh, is this a fan? Okay, that does feel good. Okay, so this could be a fan, right? But what is that though? Why is there different things in there? Okay, everybody, what is this? We have a lot of these. <laughs> Bread of Rogues. Maybe I should send them one. They probably get a kick out of that one. Welcome Hotel. This one is Harrington. That is cool. Okay. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know. And I don't want to break it, and I just did. Guys, I'm the worst. What is this? Okay. Did I pull it out? I've already broke it, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. Does this move? Something's got to move. What is this? Okay, I am not sure what this is. I'm going to set it aside as something very old. Okay, New York. That's an old train station. Very cool. This is very old. One cent. 1913. To Conklin, Michigan. Ooh, Easter bunnies. Happy Easter tide. Okay. From Aunt Sarah. Brian Kent. A recreation. Okay, that's just a, a jacket, I guess. Douglas, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Brit Street. That's where I used to work. Yes, the law firm was on Brit Street. Okay, Conklin, Michigan. Look how small that is. Merry Christmas. That's a calling card. Conklin's and this is going to Georgia. Conklin, Michigan. These are very old. Oh, here, um, Cora Edge. Now that might even be a distant relative of mine. Hmm. And here we have some. I don't know what you'd call this. President's breakfast room. What is this? Okay, I'll look that up. Not sure what that's for. Cutout forums. Maybe is that what that is? Oh, I bet that's what that is. Okay. Your visit to Pearl Harbor. Okay, so that one. What else we got? National Creamery Supply, Illinois, Chicago. 
Um, and Chicago did move around a lot, um, and even the people that were buried in the cemeteries were dug up and buried more inland because they wanted the, the waterways. They wanted people to be able to live by the water, so um, a lot of Chicago is a cemetery. I've, I get the heebie-jeebies going there, so I have not been back. Ugh. I've had friends that ask me to go, and I always say no. <laughs> Place gives me the creeps. Okay. <laughs> okay, musical. Direct dictionary. Dale Moore, it looks like. This looks very old. Maynard, maybe? Moore? Look at, look at this. Look at how they made this book. Do you see that? They made it out of... That's so awesome. Look at that. They made a new cover for it. So this was a little dictionary they used. I would say this is probably 1800s. I can definitely look up that person. See how old that is. Um, Receive. This is old. 1900s. Okay, so we got brown, welding and works, 75 cents. Here's a postcard, Wilson, Conklin, Michigan. Okay, we have, it looks like a little card, Happy Easter. Guess who? Um, okay, so these are just Hamilton, Ohio. Cadillac, Michigan, Joanna, oh, I cannot read this, 1946, what's in here, the suspense is killing me, you guys, oh, it's like a little graduation thing, 1946, okay, very cool, so, I don't want to mess these up. Put this back in here. Boy, it's all fancy. Look at all those envelopes. I'm definitely regretting not getting a drink. I need a drink. Okay. Walter E.B. Ebby. 1934, going to Indiana. And here is another little... Oh, cool. Oh, I can't wait to list these. I cannot wait. This is going to be so much fun, you guys. Gardner Village. Attorney at Law. Okay, and then it's just like a little envelope. Um, Grand Haven, Michigan, and... Hmm, can't really tell what that is. In the 30s. Um, Skoll. 1913, that's an antique. Good health. Battle Creek, Michigan, Fremont, Michigan. Oh, that's kind of cool. The 30s. Oh, well, I thought it was cool, but it's actually just really dirty. What is this? Reformed Church of America. Oh, I'm just, okay, I'm tearing that. West Michigan Savings Bank. And we've got a city. This looks old too. From Hart, Michigan to Plummer, Shelby, Michigan, two cent stamps, 1907. Collection of treasure, Flint, Michigan. Last name Francis. So I probably won't do comps because there's so many, and I really thought this was just a couple things. Um, it said, and stuff on the auction, so I'm like, okay, well, I like what I'm already bidding on that I can see, so, you know, 1871, it's like a purchasing diary, I've got a couple of those that are really old like that, Wilson, so if somebody's last name is Wilson, this is going to be really cool if they can find something like this, that's why eBay is so awesome, a father's hand, this is a little postcard, Pilgrims. Okay. More checks. Wilson. 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 Wilson's. 
the Murray Hotel. And here's some stationery. Okay, James Brown, General Merchandise. Chappie, maybe, is the last name. And Carnes. Oh, just tons of checks, you guys. Look at this. I'm going to have to number these things and just kind of, I think I'll sell them separately. Will Beagle. You know, I would love to find something like this of, like, my family. That would be, like, so awesome. I would totally buy it. I wouldn't even care how much it was. Okay, here's, like, a little Lake Odessa, Michigan. I know where that is. It was over there today. Okay, so here's just, like, a little thing somebody cut out. Kalamazoo Motor Supply. So I'm just going to kind of show you what these are. This, these are from Brown's. Lubrication Service. Cool, safety guide. Yeah. People are always having um, tractor accidents over here, so it's pretty scary. Scott Cement Products of Dalton, Michigan. Okay. Lots of browns going on. Agriculture. Sold. Um. Okay, National Geographic. Here's a very big cow. Okay. Ooh, look at how old this is. M. Kramer's Sons Clothiers and Furnishings on Main Street. Wilson of Kalamazoo. I'm going to carefully put this up here with my Extremely Breakables. And I'm definitely going to cardboard that and I'm not going to touch it again. <laughs> Cobb. Here is, it looks like a prescription. So maybe you can even see kind of what's going on there. Okay, so here we have addresses. Look at this tiny little book. This is crazy. Look at this tiny little book. Wow, look at this. It's got addresses in it. Wow, look at that address book. I mean, this is my hand. I do have kind of big hands, but still. Okay, let's put this over there. Okay, New York Insurance Company. And my throat is getting so sore from talking. Brown, Detroit. So what else we got here? Picture card. So this is just kind of like a advertising thing. Um, oh, that's neat. Obviously, it was well used. They probably had it in their wallet, maybe. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, it's a letter. The church ladies. Getting the male choir here. We'll see about it and let me know. The girls want to advertise. Okay. That's kind of cool. We'll definitely read that. Oh, I love letters because I'm just so nosy. I can't open it. I'm so nosy. They were laughing at me when I told them I paid a lot of money for for this other auction because I need to know what those letters say and they were all laughing. <laughs> we don't blame you. We're glad that you bought them from us. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can see what that says. Look at how light that is. Okay, so that one, yeah, definitely, I might be able to, um, scan that and I know I can um, change that with Photoshop but to see what that says okay well here's a little axe put him over here Ohio and there is a letter in here too I think wow oh I can't wait to read these letters I'm so nosy okay what else we got Tarabelle, Ohio, Wilson, Travelers Health, Old Kent Bank, whoa, what is this, this big, 
Look at this township. What is this? This goes with this probably? No, I don't know. Um, looks like they bought a lot maybe. I don't know. Okay, some more money. 1907. Wilson. Wilson. Kalamazoo. Wilson. Okay, quick claim deed. Beatrice. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, well, that's cool. Three Oaks, Michigan. Okay, so this um, is actually, this will go with that picture that we seen earlier that was in there. That is the same person. So that's cool. Um, Barber, Barber. Reed, Hubble and Kilmore, and Barber, postcard, chocolate candies of Jeanette Randall, chocolate cookery, I'm totally running out of room. Okay, then we've got, let's see here, Don and Irene Peterson of Framington. Um, North Carolina postcard. These people are having lots of fun. Why are they pointing at people? Grand Rapids. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, is that a picture? What is this? This looks like a picture of someone. I don't know if that's a professional thing or... I don't know. Okay, prehistoric life book. This is very old. I haven't even seen one like this. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the box. And I'm finding little pieces of that card. Okay, so I'm assuming that's a piece of that card. Uh, okay, I'm gonna carefully put that over there. This is cool. What is this? Truck front bumper. Elegant, Michigan. Hmm. Okay. And I bet the um, I might make some copies of some of these because I, when I go to the historical society, they would probably like this kind of stuff. Watson, Russell, and Andrews. I know it kind of bugs some of them that I do sell this stuff, but. This is what I like to do, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Wilson. And a lot of them buy stuff, you know, with their own money and bring it in. Um, but I will, if I see stuff that they might like there, then I'll make a copy and then sell the original. Okay, let's see here. Progress card. Um, Josephine. Cannot pronounce that. Okay, little things. Okay, this was a scrapbook of some sort. The scrapbook I bet went another lot because I was bidding on a scrapbook. But yeah, there are some cool things. I wonder if I can get them off. Um, part of a die cut. It's probably a calling card. Um, could be a label off something. It's another little calling card. Um... Happy birthday card and Germany sticker. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. Too bad some of them are missing. This girl's ripped. I bet you the other pieces are in the other one. Lulu Smith of Battle Creek. Now I am related to Smiths. Um, looks like Downs, Detroit, Coldwater, Michigan. Um, okay, so here's Abraham Lincoln, 1865, and this is, I'm assuming, let's see, what is this? Okay, so this is kind of cool. This is his, it's like a calling card um, for Abraham. Look how handsome he is. This is a young Abraham Lincoln. Oh, he's really handsome. I don't think I've ever seen that photo. Um capital of the DC 
postcard. I've never seen that stamp either. Um, Chicago. These are stuck together. Ooh, okay. Here's another one. Here is a linen postcard. And I need to familiarize myself with postcards. Um, there's an, I think it's SML postcards on YouTube. And he has things where he teaches people about postcards. So I definitely need to go listen to him for a while. Um, these are kind of, they've got some discoloring on them. So they're not going to be worth much. I like to sell postcards though. It's one of my favorite things. I like looking up places. Christmas is more than a day. Kearns. 1973. Ooh, look at how colorful that is. If my voice is getting hoarse, I'm sorry. So it looks like this wasn't even used. That's really cool. Okay, what do we got here? Postcard. Um, okay, so this is just like a picture, must be. Isn't that a postcard? Oh, I would think this one would be, but... Hmm. Old Philadelphia, brochure of 1847. This one's pretty old. Look at how old this is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, Civil War, George Meade. Okay, 1960s. Well, hopefully I'm not putting any of you to sleep. <laughs> Florida, if you are, just keep on watching. <laughs> just keep on watching. That's fine. Maybe if I talk in a monotone voice, I'll put all of you to sleep. Coldwater, Michigan. I do listen to pe certain people and um, just to make myself fall asleep. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> but that is a lot of times how I go to sleep at night. I listen to people. Here's another one of those little cards. I'm going to put that over there with the rest. Happy New Year card. From Clara to... Uh, could be Irene. It's a little card that's very old. Here is photo enlargements. Little Orphan Annie. Okay, that's breakable. I'm going to put that up there. Real Society of Embroidery and Outfits. So oh, cool. Oh, this is neat. I love stuff like this. It's like a little... Ooh, this is old. 1922, so that is an antique. Household Inventory. Okay. Old favorite songs. Not bad, but that's cool to listen to. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, baby's own book. Ugh, cow's milk. Ugh. Um, so this was never filled out. Can I sell this as new? <laughs> Your share, Betty Crocker. So here is a little cookbook. Okay, Mueller's. Tested. Small little cookbook. These are probably fun to get, you know? I mean, if you're just cooking every day and you don't have TV on, and I bet this stuff was kind of fun. Some little recipes. Uh, definitely sell that one. I wonder if I, could, if I sell it by the page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's on the back? Hollywood, California. Okay. Thoughts of Remembrance. Card from your teacher. Nellie Workman to Willie. Thoughts of Remembrance. Straight line is the shortest in morals, as in mathematics. Ooh, I need something to drink. Okay, what is this one? Oh, here's these little things again. Reed and Covert, Illinois. 
What is this? Torn paper? What? Okay, I am not even going to open that. Okay. Early bird strawberries. Oh, that! look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's cool. I might have to keep that one too. That's really neat. Let's set that aside. Okay, the Dells. I think that's still a thing. This is real old. Um, geez, it looks like it could be the 60s. Um, Nineteen forty-two almanac. Look how old that is. <laughs> oh, big problem for a little man. To those who work with children, a harsh word, a little punishment from a parent or teacher weights heavily on a youngster's mind. Be prepared at times. Get a package of Alka Seltzer from your druggist. What does I have to do? <laughs> Alka Seltzer for what? I don't get it. Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> Fat Boy's Calorie Guide. Okay, I need this one. <laughs> 25 cents. <laughs> Maybe I should read this one myself. Oh. So it tells you, what is this? Okay, so this is counting calories. That's not a bad idea, actually. False facts about dieting. Fat people are jolly. Don't believe it. My doctor tells me that my heart trouble, gallbladder conditions, diabetes, and high blood pressure, bad kidneys, oh, liver trouble, Fallen aches and even depression, psychosis can result from obesity. Massage and steam baths to lose weight. You have to take 370 steam baths. 10 pounds overweight, take 3,700 steam baths. <laughs> Maybe I should go in the hot tub tonight. <laughs> breakfast. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. This is actually pretty funny. I need to read this. What are people eating? Poached eggs, orange juice, um, toasted bread, butter, coffee, lunch they have, lettuce sandwich, coleslaw, milk, skin fresh, ugh, lamb chops, Ugh, gosh, it's making my stomach hurt thinking about it. Okay, um, Heinz, Book of Salads, Jeanette Randall. Okay, Henry Scott, The Will Rogers of Piano. Am I going right? There we go, yep. Henry L. Scott, oh, he signed it. Oh, and there's lots of advertisements. That's cool. The advertisements are good. Grand Rapids, Michigan. I wonder if there's any from my husband's family in here. Let's check it out. Pollyanna Bakeries, the airport. Bilesma. Ooh, my feet are getting sore. What was that? Home furnishings. Oh, look at everybody. That's where I used to work at Klingman's Home Furnishings. And they have all these really nice pieces. I still have some of their furniture. Really good stuff. John Vandenberg, Borden's, Root Beer Creamery. Oh, my feet are killing me. Charles Wilson and Henry Wilson. Vans. This will be cool because this is like from where I am at and, um, you know, maybe there's people that are still around here. Oh, Van Dam Ironworks. That's probably a relative of mine. How cool. Okay. Brinks Motel. That's, that's also probably a relative. Uh... And the ones that I think are relatives, I'm definitely going to forward those on to people that I do genealogy with because they might want a copy of that. And we kind of help each other out when we find stuff. 1941. 
Off the records. What is this? Popular albums of 1941. Hmm. Tchaikovsky. Now, he is hard to play. My mom is really good at that. I found him really hard. Okay. Um. Okay, what is the book? Okay, this is not in English. Is this... I don't know what this is. Okay, so that's it. This is my last thing as a book, and now I have like all this stuff I'm sitting here. I'm going to carefully put most of it back, except for the breakable stuff awesome stuff i'm so happy oh i'm so excited okay hopefully i didn't put any of you to sleep and if you are to sleep just keep sleeping have an awesome day everybody bye